Dong Yu Machinery Group Aerated Lightweight Concrete ALC Plate Production Line has the following six sections Preparation and Storage of Raw Materials Preparation and Antiseptic Treatment of Reinforcement Cage Batching, Pouring and Rod Inserting Static Curing and Rod Extraction Cutting and Regrouping Autoclaved Curing and Finished Product Processing etc. Firstly, use a wet type ball mill to mill fly ash or sand with water into certain concentration of slurry and store in slurry tanks. Limestones are loaded into jaw crusher for crushing and stocked into the semi-lime silo by bucket elevator. Then it will be grinded into powder by dry ball mill through belt scale. Lime powder will be stored in lime powder silo for preservation. Raw material preparation, transportation process are equipped with dust cleaner to ensure the environment from pollution. Process the round steel bars into long and short bars of required sizes with a straightening cutting machine. Put these process bars on the net welded machine frame for automatic welding. Then place the completed net on the suspension type welder frame. Adjust the dimension and location and weld the required mesh cage with the mesh welder. Lifting the cage to the groove for dipping paint of corrosion remover by a special cage sling, ensuring that the surface of the cage is fully painted with the remover. Then, lift the mesh cage into the dryer for drying. After drying for 10 minutes, lift the mesh cage to the assembly area for assembling. Slurry being measured by slurry scale. Lime and cement being measured by dry material scale. Aluminum measured by aluminum scale. Pour the above raw material into pouring mixture by order. After two to three minutes of high speed mixing, pouring into mold box. When the pouring is completed, ferry car carries the mold box to the place for rod inserting. Assembled cage is inserted into the mold box by the rod inserting hanger. The position of mesh cage is fixed by steel bars. The processes above are under the integrated control of the batching building to ensure the continuity and precision of batching, pouring and rod inserting. After rod inserting for mold box is completed, convey the mold box with the friction gear to the static curing room for two to three hours of storage. A series of physical and chemical changes such as expanding, hardening and so on happen to the slurry in the mold box under the function of lime, cement and water. When it reaches the strength for cutting, convey the casting box with the friction gear to the place for rod removing. Then remove the whole rod frame with rod removing sling and deliver it to the underside of the turnover sling by the friction gear. Lifting the mold box to the underside of cutting area with the turnover sling, turning the casting box by 90 degrees with the turnover equipment and lay the casting box sideways on the number one cutting trolley and then the mechanical arm of the turnover sling will automatically unlock the locking arm and achieve demolding. Convey the empty casting box to the recycling line of side plates with the turnover sling 
and reassemble the empty casting box with the side plate. In the meantime, send the green body and side plate to the cutting area with the number one cutting trolley. It will firstly pass through the level cutting equipment and conduct level cutting on the green body according to the set width. At the same time, milling flute treatment is conducted for both sides of the green body. Soon afterwards, the number one cutting trolley continuously moves to the lower side of the vertical cutting device. The green body and the side plate are jacked up by the hydraulic displacement device. The four axis swing cutting frame drives the wire swing in a serration type for vertical cutting. In the meantime of cutting, the number one cutting trolley returns from the original path to carry the next green body. The number two cutting trolley moves to the lower side of the vertical cutting device. After the completion of vertical cutting, the hydraulic displacement device puts the green body on the number two cutting trolley with the side plate. The number two cutting trolley moves to the lower side of the sling for semi-finished products. The sling for semi-finished products lifts the cut green body to the steam trolley with the side plate. The grouping is completed. All wastes generated in the whole cutting process could be recycled for use. The cut green body is orderly put at the autoclaving trolley with the side plate.